Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where we travel all over the country, eat at cool or interesting places, and bring reviews to you. Today we are in Conroe, Texas, and we are at the Black Walnut Cafe. There's a few uh, locations of this place. We've never eaten there before, but we're excited to try it, so let's go. Walking into this restaurant, we were actually pretty confused because we're technically at an airport here in Conroe. So we came in these double doors, then felt like we came in the wrong entrance, then saw a sign, oh, we have to go up the elevator to the third floor. And then coming out of the elevator, there's a long corridor that takes you into this cafe. Now, once you get to the cafe, it's beautiful, lots of light. I mean, you could watch the planes land here. It could be a pretty fun place to be if the airport's busy. You do need to order your food counter service style. So we had to um, look over the menu, order at the counter, and then we were given this handy dandy buzzer that will go off, I guess, for them to find us. But they're gonna bring us our plates, um, as well as all of our service utensils right here to the table. Now the menu is nice because they offer both breakfast and lunch during the whole time they're open. And there's something for everyone, tons of breakfast items, lots of choices for lunch. Their entrees look great. They even have plant-based options. So if somebody in your group doesn't eat meat, there's several different things that they could order as well. So I think anyone you bring here is gonna find something that they like on the menu. I am friggin' starving. I have not eaten anything today. I've been waiting to come out here and eat. And it's like, it's in the afternoon. It's like two o'clock right now. They do close at three. So we had to get here, you know, kind of early. I don't know if that's because it's a commuter airport. Well, it's not a major airport. Um, when I look outside, I just see small planes. So anyway, um, but you know what? I got me a brewski. I got me some uh, Shinerbach Texas beer. And without any food in my belly, it won't take too many of these to get me going. I ordered Doc's Crazy Turkey Burger. That's crazy with a K. I don't understand the name, but I'm about ready to find out. This sandwich is loaded. I'm gonna move these fries aside just so we can get a better look at it because it has fresh avocado, tomatoes, Swiss mushrooms, a turkey patty, and um, it looks like this is spinach. Plus, I know that there's like a pesto. Um, oh, I can't show it to you without tearing the sandwich apart, but there's like a pesto mayo on here. And then look at these beautiful um, sweet potato fries. Now these aren't my favorite, but these are cut small enough. I don't think they're gonna be overly mushy. I really can't wait to dig into this. I'm not gonna try to pick this hamburger, this whole burger up to take a bite. If you watch our channel, you know I can be a little bit messy. So let's, I just cut this in half. Mm. That is wonderful. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of turkey patties, but I had so much beef lately that I was like, I gotta try this. It's good. Um, there's so many flavors happening on this sandwich that actually it kind of blends really nicely. The turkey almost has like a citrus back to it, which lightens it up a lot. I like it. And the bun, that whole wheat bun with like the oats and stuff on it, look really good. Let's try out these french fries. These are good. It's a sweet potato that's been, I mean, I think there must be like a slight little breading. Paul, Paul's not a huge fan of sweet potato fries, but with that crunch, I think he might like these. Guess what I got everybody? I got chicken and waffles and they threw some eggs on it. Is this like a brunch chicken and waffles? Yeah, check it out. All right, so we have a Belgian style waffle, so it's thick. We got, these are over, oh yeah, I asked for them over easy. They come over easy. Got a couple little green onions on there. Now, I don't know guys, they say chicken. It looks like chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. I don't know about that. I usually think that you're gonna get some bone-in chicken, but, and we got some syrup. So, I don't know, we'll test it and see. The waffle seems kinda soft, almost kinda, kinda squishy. I don't know, I like it to be kinda crispy, but I dipped it in the syrup and got a little chicken on there, let's see.
The chicken's not bad. The waffle's way too soft. Um, I like the, well, you know, now that I touch other parts of the waffle, I think I bit out of the softest part of the waffle because other parts of the waffle seem kind of crispy. But as far as chicken and waffles are concerned, eh, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you know, I do like me some chicken, but the the chicken, it's, 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 it's lightly breaded, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's airport food. Do we call it airport food? If it is, then it's great. I'm going to give this turkey burger a shot. You know, it's kind of cool. They put a lot of stuff on this. The avocado, you guys saw it. That was insane. There was a ton of avocado on this. And the cheese, I mean, look at that. The cheese and the spinach. I don't know. It makes it seem kind of healthy, right? Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually really good. There's a whole lot. Amy's right. A ton going on there. Um, but it's not, nothing individually overdoes it. It's actually really good. They, they put some time into that burger. I like that. And they added a pickle. Mmm. Okay, but pickle aside, sweet potato fries. Guys, I generally do not like sweet potato fries at all. But for you, I'm gonna try them out. You guys know me, I generally don't eat fries too often in videos anyway, but. Mm. They're nice and crunchy. If they were regular fries, those would be really good, but I don't know, sweet potato. You know what, I'll eat one more just to see. You don't like sweet potatoes in general. No, I don't like sweet potatoes in general, but those are pretty good actually. And the, the presentation of them was really nice. Come in this cute little cup like that, look at that. Mm. I'm trying to get a bite of Paul's chicken and waffles together on this fork, and I'm being so clumsy. And I love chicken and waffles. If you've never, if you, th if you've never really tried chicken and waffles, so don't just be turned off by the combination because it's actually pretty insanely good. Mm. I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't dunked that in syrup because I want to taste what the chicken tastes like. We just grab a bite. So Paul, Paul called these chicken nuggets, whatever. No, it's just like chicken breast, breaded, fried. Cooked really nice, it's not dry. Seasoned really yummy. Mmm. My mouth is so full of syrup that I'm having a hard time picking out the flavors. This is a sweet dish though. I mean, I even see there's some powdered sugar on it. I mean, it's a waffle. This egg's pretty nice. I don't think you can go wrong with this. If you like chicken and waffles, I think you'll be happy. Um, I do agree that they could leave the waffle in the waffle iron maybe another like 30 seconds just to get it crispy on the edges. But other than that, it's really good. Better when you wash it down with some Shiner Box. Cheers. Mm. Oh, cheers. I thought he was handing me his beer to drink, and I was like, I get two? So what did we think of the Black Walnut Cafe? We really liked it. Actually, I was kind of surprised, because this is airport food, right? They do have several locations around Houston, Dallas, and Fort Worth area, so I would be interested to see if their hours and menus are a little bit different, but we got what we needed today. We thought it was fair, fairly priced. Um, the food was presented beautifully, and for the most part, the flavors were good. I mean, our only criticism was that waffle was a little spongy, but the rest of the food we really enjoyed. This location might be a little bit out of the way. I mean, there's not a lot going on here unless you're coming to the airport or you live in Conroe or nearby, but uh, based on their other locations, and there might be one near you or near a place where you're traveling through, I recommend it be a great stop. It was relaxing, the service was friendly, and um, I am stuffed. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. But most of all, give us a comment because we know how much you love eating out, and probably especially when you're traveling too. So if you can 
suggest to us a place that we should stop at, maybe in your hometown or another town you've been to while you're traveling as well. Um, we love the suggestions and it doesn't just have to be good food, it might be something weird or interesting or some place with a wonderful view. Um, help us out because there's so many choices as we're traveling on the road. We would also like to encourage you to seek out your local food bank, or food shelter, um, Give a few dollars, a couple hours, or a food donation to help the people in your community who are hungry because it's probably one of the best ways you can help support those in need around you. So until we eat together again, stay classy.